yo, yo, yo. <laughs> Hello there guys and welcome to me presenting about UED I will talk about in this video well first I have to introduce myself my name my name is Eden Dan Dunstan okay I am 18 years old and I am continuing my studies in UITM and I am taking industrial chemistry at our industry chemia AS115 basically and today I'm gonna go talk about in this video is ODL what is ODL? ODL is online distance learning. Now, the ODL is basically online distance learning that we are as students that we are learning our subjects, our courses, basically through online. And the reason why we have to learn through online is because this whole COVID nineteen situation. Hey, it's Corona time, right? Situation basically had to go make us learn within safety distance basically not to be in crowds As this situation proceeds to grow badly right now anyways okay now about ODL I want to go talk about the advantages and the disadvantages of online learning distant online distant online distant learning you you can about this it will help us prepare for future jobs that require us to do it online or whatsoever. Not knowing when will the pandemic be ending. For right now, the job situations basically require everybody to be online. Well, online learning will help us get used to this this whole this whole situation. Basically, if we want to go apply a job for one day, if we do and it will help us to get used to like online meetings online online working and it will make us have a better experience at least we have experience and when we do have that experience we will do better the second one that i like to go talk about is that online learning also helps the edu the flow of education to go keep on going one day uh the government decided to go like go on odl which was something, which was something new, and what it did a favor for us is that we get to go learn now, and when we go learn, it will actually help proceed more educated people. It will give us more understanding and like knowledge basically. So when we do get a knowledge from the teachers, from from a safe distance, it will be good, and then. There's the disadvantage of online learning. This is for serious mode. What are the disadvantages of online learning? Basically, uh, number one, not everybody has internet. Basically, some of my friends, they have troubles entering, entering the platforms that the teachers or lecturers would provide and they won't and they cannot enter is because due to their internet connection internet connection matters on what area or the what line of what line of internet communication uh, you need like you have to use dg you have to use cellcom or maxis but then there are like only some certain lines that only can be used in a in an area. Like some of my friends are like they're just like like one day they have to go to kampong or they have to go to kampong. Then the next thing you know, like when they have to go uh, attend a, attend a lecture, it's quite hard. Like they have to go wait until they go to an area where it's more easier for them to go connect the internet. Some of them, they can't really purchase internet that easily as, uh, well, 
they ha- kind of have to go save money and also some of them sometimes they don't have money to go pay for it the second thing I want to go talk about is that there's no physical socializing you don't have that amount of help you can't just go them to them directly even though we can use our phones but sometimes like we require them to be physically there so that we can actually have that sense of understanding with them to know whether they understand or not because from a screen you, you can't really tell their emotions you can't really tell if they understand because everybody has a different level of understanding and that's what makes it very hard because if you have a different level of understanding you really do not know what to explain to that person because you do not know whether that person understands you or he whether he understands what you're trying to say when you look at the screen it's just only that one thing that we can just look at uh, other than that if the lecturer is over there at least we can uh, physically at least we can go keep an eye on the lecturer and like understand as he or she explain the things that we that, that we have to go learn about we want to go ask a question and we go point to that one thing that we want to ask for uh, it will be easier for us to all understand it's when it sometimes it just like also just put just makes us feel like we're just like looking at that one way screen and like the only time they can able to go connect us is when we unmute the mic or turn on our camera then unmute the mic basically so it's very it also can get us tiring as also uh, some of us also don't like to just be uh, sitting down and just looking at the screen because the feeling of sitting down and looking at the lecture is different as the lecturer sometimes I have to admit keeps an eye on you and it makes you feel like you I say it makes you feel like that you should take this course seriously so the seriousness is there that's why and yeah so those are the things about the advantages and disadvantages about online distant learning so about that yeah guys I hope you guys learn Peace out.